What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back or welcome to Lin Lin. Thank you guys so much for coming to check out the video today. If you are new to my channel, then welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are already subscribed, then thank you so much for coming back. Now, as you guys can see, I am not in the grocery store today. I am rather at home and I wanted to switch it up and show you guys my grocery haul from home versus me going to the store and taking you guys with me. So let me know in the comments, guys, if you like this form of me doing videos or if you like to see me grocery shop in the store. But not right now. After you watch this video, leave a comment and let me know what you guys think, okay? So guys, I went to grocery outlet today and I've done a couple videos where I've gone to grocery outlets and done a couple hauls or whatever. So today I went and I had a couple things that I wanted to check out that I seen in the weekly newspaper, the weekly ad that they have. And so I wanted to go in there and see if they still had them. Just check out a couple different things. If you guys don't know anything about Grocery Outlet, Grocery Outlet is like a discount store um, where they sell things that you wouldn't usually see in other grocery stores like, you know, Winko, Walmart, Fred Meyers, things like that. And they are also for a little bit of a cheaper price than what you would see in the regular grocery stores as well. I live here in Oregon. I know they have several of them here in Oregon and Washington. I want to say Idaho as well. So more on the West Coast. I'm not sure about like California or anything like that. So anyways, guys, I'm going to show you exactly what I went into grocery outlet today and found. I came out with some pretty good deals. I always find pretty good things when I go in there. And honestly, it's one of my favorite stores to go shop at just for the fact that you can find stuff that you don't see in the normal stores. So the first thing that I'm going to tell you guys is I bought a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I bought a total of 17 items and I spent $56.93 and I saved a total of $65.50. All right, guys, so let's get into this video. Let's get into all the goodies that I found. Let's go. The first thing that I have is these mini cucumbers. Now, guys, I started eating these probably over the summer and these are really really good for some reason they're not like the regular cucumbers i don't know i or maybe they are but for me they taste a little bit different i don't mind the skin on these ones as well so these come with six of them in the pack and i paid 2.99 for these ones right here the next thing that i have are these plant-based chicken tenders and i actually just wanted to give these a try um these are it says crispy outside, juicy inside. And again, these are plant-based chicken tenders. These were also $2.99. Um, it feels like there's probably about five or six of them in here. So I'm going to give these a try. The next thing I have are these hash brown patties right here. Now, the last time I went into grocery outlet, I was upset because I was like, dang, I just spent... $4, almost $5 at Winco for some hash browns. And I think I got like 10 of them. This one comes with 20 patties. And these were $4.49 for these 20 hash brown patties. These are really good to have. I know a really good hash brown casserole that I've made several times using hash browns. Um, my kids just like to eat them plain, you know, with ketchup, whatever, things like that. But that was a really good deal in there for these. 20 hash browns for $4.49. The next thing I have is my banana bread Pop-Tarts. So in my last grocery haul video, I said that I bought these the first time I went to Grocery Outlet. And before I could even taste them, everybody had ate them up. So I was really mad about that because I went to the next grocery outlet and they did not have this flavor. So I was glad I was able to go in there so I can finally taste these banana bread pop tarts. And these were only $1.99 in grocery outlet. The next thing I have is the strawberry lemonade um, country time 
Capri Sun type drinks. These were $2.49. It says these are new. I've never seen them before. But I got this one, the strawberry lemonade, and then I got the regular lemonade as well. So guys, when it comes to drinks like this, I like to get things like this that do not have high fructose corn syrup in it. If you look at practically every label of any like juicy juice, Kool-Aid, drinks like that, they all have high fructose corn syrup in it. I try to stay away from high fructose corn syrup when it comes to giving it to my kids. So when I find little drinks like this, I am very happy. I am very excited because you can't beat that for $2.50 for something that does not have the high fructose corn syrup in it. Now, same thing goes with when I buy snacks. I try to buy fruit snacks and things like that that do not have the high fructose corn syrup in it. I got two of them, the strawberry and the lemonade, and these were both $2.49 a piece. The next thing that I purchased was these jumbo coconut shrimps. These are my husband's favorite shrimps. So anytime I see these, I try to grab them. These are only $6.99 at Grocery Outlet. Other stores, you're paying between $8.99, some all the way up to $11.99, I've seen them. So anytime I see these at Grocery Outlet, I grab them because they're a good deal for these. If you have never tried these coconut shrimps, I suggest you try them because they are very, very good. So $6.99 for these. Another thing that I purchased is these fudge bars. These are by So Delicious. These are dairy-free. These were $1.99. There's four of them in the package, and these are made with coconut milk. So I try to buy things like this, especially when I see that they're on sale because these are good substitutes for you know, the kids when they want to eat something sweet or they want to eat popsicles or anything like that. I get them these things right here and for $1.99, you cannot beat that. I got these Kellogg's Eggo Pancakes. These are winter berry. They just have like some little berry things inside of them. I mostly got these because I wanted the kids to try, I wanted the kids to try something different than the waffles that they usually get. And these were only $1.99. So again, you cannot beat that price for something like this. And yeah, so these wall these pancakes, $1.99 at grocery outlet. Another one of the ice cream type popsicle things that I got are these fruit bars here. These are strawberry flavored fruit ice bars. And it says they are made with real strawberry puree and no synthetic colors. So guys, these are just strawberry popsicles. They are made with strawberry puree and cane sugar. So these as well were only $1.99. So I needed some peanut butter because I thought I had a bunch of peanut butter down in the cabinets, but it seems like the kids have gone through all the peanut butter. And guys, I chose this peanut butter because this is a peanut and coconut oil spread type peanut butter. I wanted to try this one. This is Earth Balance peanut butter. And this peanut butter right here was $1.69. So for that price, that was totally good. And I'm probably gonna go back and grab a couple more of these, but I just got one of them for now just to try it because I've never tried this kind of peanut butter before. But for $1.69, you can't beat that. So I'm gonna give this one a try as well. Now, I seen this cinnamon maple syrup. Now, usually I buy maple syrup for my kids because that's the kind of syrup that I like to use, again, because of all the high fructose corn syrup and all that in the syrup. So I found this one. This is a sugar-free keto sweetened with monk fruit. And this is cinnamon maple. This syrup was only $2.99. And compared to the six, seven, eight, sometimes even $10 that I spent on maple syrup, you cannot beat that price for this. So I've never had cinnamon maple syrup. Um, I've never bought it before, but we're gonna give it a try. Like I said, it is sugar-free, it's keto, and it's sweetened with monk fruit. So $2.99, we're gonna give this a try and see how this tastes, guys. Another thing that I purchased is these mini peppers. Now guys, if you have never tried these sweet mini peppers, I have a really good recipe for these. Now, just like with the cucumbers, last summer I just got obsessed with these mini peppers and I was just eating them nonstop. And guys, the recipe that I have for these is you take these, 
you take cream cheese and everything bagel seasoning put that on it split these split these open put the cream cheese in it sprinkle the everything bagel seasoning on it and guys that's like the best best little snack you could ever have and it's healthy for you and it's good for you and you will enjoy it so these mini peppers right here were only $2.99 and it comes with guys I don't even know there's a lot of them in here though so for $2.99 you cannot beat that because I know for sure elsewhere these are much more expensive I want to say maybe four or five dollars so three dollars for these definitely not a bad deal Another thing that I purchased right here are these Good Pops. These are mini cans of um, juice and sparkling water. I wanted my kids to try these. These were only $1.99. And I thought, what better idea than to have them try something like this? These are, there are six of these in here. And these were only $1.99, guys. They had three different flavors. They had the fruit punch, the orange, and the lemon. But I figured if I was going to have them try them, I would have them try the fruit punch because kids are more, you know, kids would rather try something fruitier than, you know, lemon or orange. Those are like flavors that they might not want to try. So guys, these are just juice and sparkling water. There's no high fructose corn syrup or anything like that in these. If they enjoy these, I will definitely go back and get the other two flavors for them to try because for $1.99, you cannot beat that. Now, I also got these two things right here. These are, the name is Belgian Boys. These are raspberry cookie tarts and these are lemon cookie tarts. These are individually wrapped little treats. And guys, I just seen these and I thought these would be cool. These would be something that I would like to try. They look really good. It looks like um, a shortbread and then the raspberry filling on top as well as the shortbread and the lemon filling on top so i wanted to try these out these were both only a dollar 99 a piece they had one other flavor but i wasn't too sure on that one it was like some kind of chocolate one but i wanted to give these two a try first just to see if i like them and if i do like them then i'll just go back and try the chocolate one because for a dollar 99 again you cannot beat that price guys now guys last but not least this was my most expensive purchase that i made from grocery outlet guys you can't have all the good without having some of the bad so with that being said i got some pizzas for my kids and i usually get these when i'm working on the weekend because i do work 16 hour shifts and sometimes my husband does not like to cook so what better way than to just throw a pizza in the oven and call it a day so guys, I really like this one because this comes with three separate pizzas in here. So you literally get three pizzas for eleven for eleven ninety nine. Now for one pizza alone, you're paying five dollars, sometimes six dollars, depending on where you go. So for eleven ninety nine for three pizzas, that is a really good deal. At this grocery outlet, they only had the pepperoni, which I wish they had the cheese as well because I'd rather have the cheese versus the pepperoni. So guys, that was the final thing that I purchased from my grocery outlet haul today. And guys, I'm very happy with my purchase. Like I said, I spent $56 and I saved $65. I got some really good snacks. I got some healthy snacks. I got a few items that I've had a few times. I've got a few new items that I want to try. So with that being said, guys, that is the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right? Bye.